Okay, so I have no idea what day I'm on as far as the um, Everybody Cash Challenge, but I have a lot of things to show you that I've been working on other than the green beans because I always work on those. Um, I think that's the story of my life. I do 14 quarts at a time and I do it once or twice a week. So add that to what I'm also going to show you. So uh, I'm going to start out with the elderberries today and my dad sent me a text last night and he's like, the elderberries are ready. Uh, I have elderberry plants, but nothing is in the ground yet. I actually have two, two in the ground, but they are very tiny. So they aren't doing anything yet. I got them two years ago. So they literally take three to five years, like a normal tree would for me. I don't know why, but anyway, so I picked those and I'm in the process of shelling them. And then, of course, I also have some basil, cilantro, and stevia ready to go in the dehydrator. So I'll show you that. So there's my basil, my cilantro, and my stevia. <laughs> there's the beginning of the beans that I haven't started yet. Well, that's the scraps from the elderberries, my elderberries, and that still has to go in there. So it keeps me busy. Okay, so all of those peas <laughs> got shelled into one bag of peas. That's better than none. And I got nine pints of elderberries going in the canner. another day in life. <laughs> so I have my pesto all, what do you call it? Um, deleafed? I don't know. I took all the leaves off the stems. This is the garlic from my garden. It didn't do very well, but I did get some. And then I'm going to put in um, some walnuts. And I have some olive oil and lemon juice and salt. And that's all it is for my pesto since I do dairy uh, free. So, all right, let's get started. Let's put in the half a cup of nuts. And then I can actually eat it. Oops, that's garlic powder. I don't think I need garlic powder. Look at him. kind of how my week is going. I'm canning. Like I say, I can uh, green beans, two canners full each week. So here they are. And then I canned these turnips yesterday. So I got these two things yesterday and I actually canned six of these and one didn't seal. So one is actually in my refrigerator. So 
that's just how it goes sometimes. <laughs> but that's all right. I have another day of an upper bridge count challenge uh, that I can do. So, all right. So on with tomorrow. All right, this is my challenge for the Every Bits Challenge today. <laughs> I have all these peas to snap. So I'm gonna put the shells in here and then the regular peas in here. My goal this year was to grow enough peas uh, for my family for the year. And so I buy peas probably maybe 10 times a year. So that's actually not a lot. So this far, so far this year, I think I've put in three. <laughs> So this will be number four, hopefully. Uh, maybe it'll be a little bit more. I don't know. But um, I don't always grow peas very well. And I typically just grow the snow peas. Well, this year I tried to do both. And so I'm eating the sugar ones. And then I'm snapping the other ones. Which, and it works really well. And I don't know why I don't buy peas. I actually really like peas. So this year, my goal is to make a mix of like peas, carrots, green beans or whatever it is like a mix to eat um because I don't eat enough variety of vegetables I eat vegetables but I feel like I could do better if I had like a mix to do it and I did it with the um soup starters this last year I canned them and I may do that again this year in fact I know that I will uh so I am actually starting hopefully to do the freezer ones um I hope to do broccoli and cauliflower as well, but my broccoli and my carrots are ready, but my cauliflower isn't, so I am not sure if I'll get to do that this year. But I am going to try because I really like to have that combination of veggies all together. So anyway, let's get started with my peas. Okay, so this is all the peas that I got. This is the shells, and then those are the seeds that I'm saving. I'm not sure if I'm planting them on Monday or... If I'm just going to, you know, peel them and then not keep them for next year. I haven't decided. Or I could, I could just string them. I haven't decided. So anyway, now I just got to blanch these so I can put them in the freezer.